today we celebrate not the death, but the resurrection of our Lord and our Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ. His last words were, it is done. It is finished. Mission completed. In John 3.16, it says it all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him would not die but have life everlasting. While we talk about famous people in, and the Academy Awards, last week I talked about the real Academy Awards. The real superstar is Yahshua, Jesus Christ. He came and he conquered the world. Now he sits on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. While we're lifting up people in and around the world, my brothers and sisters, don't ever forget that Jesus Christ is the real superstar. He gave his life for you and for me. There is no greater love. So if you want to be a superstar, if you want to be great in the world, if you want to be great as you stand before God, remember the words of Christ. He said, take up your cross after me. That doesn't mean you have to go and lay up on a cross and be persecuted by the world or people in the world. Live a life of Christ. Be a little bit more loving, a little bit more giving, a little bit more forgiving. And remember to have the faith that Christ had, the faith of a mustard seed. With that faith, Christ taught us how to move mountains. With that faith, my brothers and sisters, we see it every day. People are becoming great in the eyesight of the world. But more importantly, do we become great in the eyesight of God? As we look around the world today and look at all the pain, all the hate, all of the senseless killings in New York, in malls, in the Ukraine, all over the United States of America and all over the world. People are dying because of hate and Christ taught us to love one another. The word of God teaches us to love one another. So as we celebrate this great day, not the death, but the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Remember, he came and he conquered the world. Remember what he told the satanic forces. You are from below. I am from above. Where I go, you cannot go. We've got to remember that. And if you want to be a superstar, my brothers and sisters, remember the words of Christ. If you had a mustard seed of faith, you could say the mountains move and they would move. Keep the faith, my brothers and sisters. I know we're going through a lot in the United States and wherever you are around the world. But remember, we serve an on-time God, and he loves his people.
who are called by his name. He will always make a way for you. And he will always make a way for me. We are more than overcomers. We are more than victorious. In and through our Lord. Know that. Claim that. And you'll always keep, my brothers and sisters, you'll always keep the victory in sight. Yes, on that third day, he got up. And you're going to get up just like Christ. If the world knocks you down, get up. Get back in the ring and realize that with God at our back, we can do all things. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you're going through or what you've been through. God turns that all around. He's turning it around daily. He's got a blessing for me. He's got a blessing for you. And as long as you lean, not toward the ways of the world, not toward the ways of mankind in the world, but as long as you lean toward the ways of his word, as long as you continue to go down on your knees and pray, as long as you get up, and know that God is in action in and around the world. As long as you do that, you will keep. You hear me? I said you will keep the victory in sight. Let us claim it with prayer. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, our friends and our Brothers and sisters from around the world, we come first of all to say thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for giving us Yahshua, Jesus Christ, your only begotten son. Thank you for helping us to know that on that third day, he got up and he rose and he sits on your right hand right now. And he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. We thank you for his presence. We thank you for his healing power. We thank you for his delivering power. Only he can deliver. No man comes to the Father but through me. So we're calling on the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, right now. We're calling on him to heal. We're calling on him to deliver. We're calling on him to send a thousand angels to continue to watch over his people who are called by his name. We claim it right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Right now, we're claiming healing. We're claiming delivering. We're claiming victory. Victory in Christ. We claim it right now with an amen. Amen. And amen. I pray that you prayed that prayer with me. Know this. God conquers all. There is no greater. There is none greater. Than the God we serve. Till next week. Keep the victory. In sight. Hi. I want you to get your own Victory Inside t-shirt. Send me a check or money order for $20. It will help to support our ministry and it will help us to keep the victory inside. Till next week, keep the victory inside.